Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Oh, yo ho, a pirate's life for Daddy and me. What are you? Are you a munchkin? I'm not a munchkin. What are you? Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Hi, Moonstone. <laughs> You're right. You're not my mom. One of these days I'm gonna have to get a real camera. This phone shit is for the birds some days. I just did a whole spiel to the intro to the video with the phone on the counter propped up on a little hand soap pump bottle and apparently it slid on the counter enough to hit the volume button on the iPhone and it stopped recording. So here we go. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my cousin's house and I was just feeding her kitty cat, uh, Moonstone. Her and Sadie are actually off on vacation right now. When I'm filming this, it is spring break for Sadie, so they're doing some camping and they're actually going to be in the New Denver Sanctuary area in a couple days, as will I. I just dropped the pirate princess back off with her mom. We did the epic adventure up and down the mountain today. Got back here in good time. And uh, I'm actually going to be staying here tonight. My cousin uh, offered that to me, so I took her up on it because it's just one night, so why not? For that though, I'm going to hop on to my phone here and I'm going to see if what I want to do to treat myself is available, because we'll see when I'm in, when in Rome and all of that. Tomorrow morning, Grace is going in for a couple of recalls that I've been waiting for since December. That's how long it's taken, so the whole like, what is it, the supply line and stuff to get parts is just, well, shot to shit. Let's say. So she's going in around 8.30 tomorrow morning. 9.30, I got a physio appointment. So hopefully they either have a courtesy shuttle or I can take an Uber over to that. And then it, they've told me it should only take a couple hours to get all this stuff done. Fingers crossed that's true. <laughs> and then I can get hit, hit the road and get back to BC. Although I do have to stop at the Upas store to pick up a couple things that I've ordered for the van build, as well as a couple packages from you lovely people that I don't know what they are. At least one, I do know what they are. We'll get to that later. And I would really like to get down to Craze Outdoors tomorrow, but I'm getting ahead of myself. That's all a future Matthew problem. For now, I'm gonna hop online and see if I can, in fact, treat myself. <sighs> Plenty of room. So, I haven't been able to do this for a little bit, and this is one thing that when you're in the city, it's a heck of a lot easier to do than when you're out in, in, in the small town sticks of British Columbia. I really don't like coming back to the city, quite frankly. The older I get, the less I want to be here. But you can't deny the convenience.
Not normally something I would do after such a long drive, I suppose, but man, I love the movies. And honestly, there hasn't been a good reason to go to the movies in a very long time. A lot of garbage coming out of Hollywood. And if I'm being honest, the reviews on this movie haven't been the greatest, but I've never let that be something to sway my opinion. Plus, at this theater, I can do this. I get a uh, tall spice rum and coke. Thanks, man. I'm early. This won't last. What? And it is Tuesday. I did have dinner already. It was light. And those tacos did look appealing. Plus here, it's buy two, get one free. Yeah, on Tuesdays. How are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Can I get, uh, well, three beef tacos then? Three beef tacos? Yes, please. Sure. And a small popcorn with butter, please. It wasn't, wasn't terrible. I enjoyed it, but uh, a lot of the critiques that I heard about it before I went to see it were pretty much spot on. There's far too many characters which end up making the movie feel way more bloated than it needed to be, but I enjoyed it. It was nice. Switch your brain off entertainment. The last one, Afterlife, was far better. I say it's late for this boy. Time to get home. And and get some shut-eye. Hello, pretty kitty. Good morning, good morning. I see you finally ate all of your dinner food. Would you like me to fill it back up for breakfast? Fix your ears. <laughs> what a moody kitty cat. Don't worry. No, mom will be home soon. That's all I had in Grace. I'm out of revitality. Actually, I have an order. I placed an order for revitality, and it's in my mailbox. So I'm excited to pick that up later because there's a little special surprise in it. Now we'll get to that later. And now I'm taking Grace in for her recalls. Like I mentioned, I can't even remember what the recalls are for. I, I know one is, I think, just for the backup camera, something that's, you know, that needs to be replaced. Mine's been working fine, because of course it has. The other one, I, I really don't remember if it's something to do with the clutch or something, so I just be cautious the whole vehicle could like burst into flames and it'd be the end of the world, something like that, right? So we'll get, to, we'll get to the bottom of that, figure out what it is once it gets done, and hopefully it's no problems getting her done. And uh, yeah, if I have time, I guess I should, maybe I should treat myself even more. This will just be the, the trip of absolute indulgence and uh, get myself a coffee. I haven't had a coffee in forever. I've been drinking those teas because they're delicious, but like I said, lack of tea, I don't really want to go wandering into a, a co-op right now, considering I gotta get over to the dealership in you know, 28 minutes. Decisions must be made.
get that heat in here, man. It's chilly, it's chilly. You know, actually, I'm gonna put this on. That's, mm hmm There, this better. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought we were through the woods with this cold weather, but apparently not, which is weird. Grace is telling me that it's nine degrees Celsius out, plus nine. Doesn't feel like it. I got a t-shirt, a sweater, and the flannel on. I had my uh, my big hooded jacket, but I thought that was a little bit of overkill. Hello, Tim Hortons. It's been a while. Well, I had a white hot chocolate literally the last time I was here when I was taking my daughter to dance class, but it's been a while since coffee. Hi there. Hi, can I please get a large coffee with two cream and four sugars? You gotta cut back. I actually have a gift card for this. Awesome. Hi there. Hey, man. You have scum? Uh, no, don't worry about it. Got a lot of garbage, though. What the heck? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your day. I also clearly need this because I just made a post on Patreon where I said, Good morning and happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. My Thursday will be filled doing this, this, and this on this Thursday. It's Wednesday. Hey! It's Lucky in GMC form. Hello, Savannah. How are you? So this is what Grace sees when we're towing her behind us. Although the doors are a lot more beige. Then there's a few more stickers on the windows. Okay. Ooh. What old start stop nonsense? Oh yeah, that's why I used to drink that. That's also why I don't drink it anymore. Usually. Okay, let's load up our tens machine. Grab that. This. Yeah, we're gonna put it all in the backpack in the back. <sighs> Whoa, you just ready to go, eh? Hang on. We need some stuff. Water bottle. Guns machine. Bring our bell. Ball. <clears throat> Baseball cap. Oops, just turned on the tennis machine. The ill-advised suggestion. Turn off. Thank you. You can wait in here for when you're called. Up to the big leagues. All right, water bottle. Yes, this is as hard with one hand as it seems. <laughs> and I made the realization yesterday at about Revelstoke <clears throat> that I forgot to bring my tripod with me. So this entire little excursion to Calgary and back is all handheld. This just means you gotta get creative and do stuff like that. Okay, let's go see a man about a recall. Ooh. Catch the phone. I did not. Okay. You know what? No, you don't get access to my uh, flashlight. <laughs> Never been a fan of dropping my vehicles off at places. But here we are. Yeah, let's move the weaponry. Okay, locked. Jeep, oof. Yikes. Sorry about the splooge. How are you guys doing this morning? Not too bad. Dropping off for a recall service? Are you the uh, yellow? Jeep? Yeah. Highlighter yellow? Yep. High velocity. Come on. High velocity. High I like that color. Yeah, so does my little girl. So. Really? Yeah. Cool. I mean, I do too. So, yeah. I did it. easy to spot. Are you picking up? I just see a shuttle. Oh, where are you, are you going? Uh, just over to like Heritage Hill. What is it, like 8 30 right now? On the dot. Oh, he. As good as I can do for an address. Heritage Hill. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good luck with your... Appreciate it. 
<sighs> okay. Now I gotta figure out exactly where it is I'm going. I'm also very early. Let's have a seat on this fancy bench meant just for me, clearly. Also, it's already gotten quite warm out. I don't think I need this sweater on anymore. Great. And of course, the bad news is, is that the recall is actually for my clutch. So I'm guessing that's what could have burst into flames. <laughs> uh, but I was quoted at two hours, and as soon as I asked Russell, I was told only two hours, he kind of laughed and said, no, closer to like four hours minimum. Stop breaking the law, asshole. Welcome back to the city. So that's great. It's going to be an all-day gig. He said he'll try to get you out by the end of the day. By three or four, I think he said. Oh, I hope that's true. Gives me time to get over to the UPS store. It's going to be a late night leave. Ugh, anyway, for now, I'm going to enjoy this coffee. I'm about 45 minutes early, but it is a nice day out. Just loud AF here. All right, very cool. Uh, it's too windy to talk out here. Hang on. There, I found a picnic table to sit on. I don't know if this is gonna work with the wind or not. It's very windy out right now. <laughs> I gotta figure out my life. I don't know what I'm doing. I had a bunch of running around I wanted to do today. Obviously, I have not heard back yet from Grace. I also have new things in my leg called acupuncture stickums or something. <laughs> the little tiny like two millimeter needles that just have like a band-aid backing and they stuck them in and they stay in my leg until I wanna take them out. That's interesting. But uh, anyway. Yeah, I haven't heard about Grace yet, and I'm trying to figure out whether I want to Uber, call the tower courtesy shuttle again, or rent a car so I can actually just do my regular, my running around that I wanted to do. Decisions must be made. <laughs> it's also very windy and chilly out here. There's nothing really in this complex. What's close by where I could go sit down? Eh. Windy AF. Okay, turns out, oh yeah, there's a new Enterprise location not too far away. It's literally right there. So I think I can walk it over along McLeod Trail and get to it. I could have booked online, but it's so close. I figured I'd just walk over there and see. Then worst case scenario, we call Uber and get us over to the mall or even the Tower Chrysler shuttle. But cool. All right. We got our wolf pack. We got our bottle of water. And we're going to go get ourselves a rental car should make it a little easier that or this is how van life plus goes onward to glory How are you doing today? Cold. It's windy. Something's blowing in. I know. God. 
Um, I don't have a reservation. Am I able to get a car? Yeah, absolutely. As cool. long as you have a couple minutes to uh, let me clean something up. 100%. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in any real rush here. Just my vehicle's in for a recall down at Tower Cries. Uh, like longer than I thought it would be, and I got a bunch of stuff I'd like to do. Fair so um, so I really only have trucks today. Is that <laughs> That's perfect. I need to go get a fridge, not a, a 12 volt camping else. fridge. Yes. <laughs> And what day do you want to return the vehicle? Today. Okay. Like, I only need it till today. So the latest I can do it, I was on your website. It kind of spanked me when I put in 5 p.m., so maybe 4. Yeah, so we are open till 5, so you can return until 5. If you're going to be later, though, we do have our Fish Creek location. They oh. have an after-hour drop-off. Where's the Fish Creek location? It's about 10 minutes down the road on the right-hand side. It is fairly close to Tower Chrysler. I guess we could just return to that location. It might make everything easier in general. Yeah. If that's possible. Totally okay, fine cool. if you want to do that. That's not a problem with us. All right. Very quiet. And I am ignorant. This is apparently the third location to ever open in Calgary. So not new, but I just haven't been paying attention apparently. When I told her that my vehicle was in tower getting a recall, she actually gave me a tower Chrysler rate. And so with taxes, it's like $65 for the day. So plus whatever gas I use. I think this will be a little easier than Ubering all over the place. I can hear the vacuum. She had to clean it out. She's basically on her own today. So I appreciate it. Enterprise. Rental cars in Calgary. She also said, I've got two options available when it comes to the truck. I've got the base model or the nicer model. Of course, I asked, was it the same price? To which the answer was yes. I said, well, come on. Hello, darling. <laughs> oh, no, can't have any of that. Shush you. All right. Hey, we left the glove box open. <laughs> oh, look at all the space for activities. The wolf pack's already hanging out in the back. We got ourselves a truck. Now, this way, I can also get over to the mailbox and relieve them of all of my packages. So maybe we'll do that first and then head on down to Crane's Outdoors. For now, let's take the Ram for a little bit of a rip. Hashtag sad day. Foot on the brake. Or maybe I should put the key in. It's not a push button start. There we go. So cool. Hashtag save the gear shifts. Oh good. <laughs> Did we catch that? They will not be doing an oil change on this bad boy. And we're off. You know, it's kind of funny. I just have a thought. If I knew this was going to happen, which there's no world in which that was ever going to be a thing, um, I could have brought the, the whole hitch system. And then we could have just gone and picked Grace up with the ram. And then when we have to drive, drop the truck off tonight, we would have just had Grace with us. Ah, well, maybe next time. Oh, lugging that freaking whole like tow hitch assembly that Lucky has would not have been ideal. <laughs> Could have been fun though. Uh, where am I going? The Upis store. All right, let's do it. Hey, coming up on the left here is the Super 8 where I was just at and where I was for my back surgery recovery. Bye-bye hotel. I was waiting to turn the corner to get to the UPS store here. I'm looking around and I'm like, yo, where is the, how do I charge my phone? And there's nothing. I mean, I, well, there's not nothing, but there's no USB ports, which is weird. I don't even know what year this is. I'll have to look on a door sill or whatever, but there's a place to put your phone, which is cool. Kind of just there, you're in there. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, there's a 12 volt DC, so you can use one of those cigarette adapters or this. So we'll see if this works. I have my, uh, I have my brick fort with me to charge my phone that my cable then plugs into, but no USB-C and no just regular USB as far as I can tell. That's... Get odd in any vehicle, days of late. It's got heated seats and remote start, but you can't plug in your USB cable. <laughs> nice. It's easy to park. Nobody else here. 
I will say this, the nice thing about Enterprise is that it seemed pretty lenient. Like I have it until 5 p.m. tonight and I can drop it off at either location, the one I picked it up at or one that's a little further south, which is probably what I will do because I'll probably end up being out there. But she also said, you know, if you need to whatever, keep the truck for whatever reason, you just get charged till 11 a.m. the next day. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but it's good to know that I uh, sort of have that option there. Funny little ram key. Stay. They're not joking. Okay, and now I got two really heavy bags. I know what they are. <sighs> One is an order of tea. They clearly spoiled me though, because it shouldn't be as heavy as it is. <sighs> okay, we got my Revita tea order in the box and this sneak peek. There we go. We'll get to that later. Oh, I'm glad I got the truck now. <sighs> Into our fancy truck. <laughs> I really want to open up that package from Revita just to see what they sent because that's crazy heavy. I, uh, anyway, um, I don't know. Like, do I have enough room in Grace now? I got to think. We better get these packages open and see what we have and what boxes we can continue to utilize. Ah, uh, we are not getting through here. Couldn't even fit Grace through there. All right then. Back her up. Right, we found a way out. Quick, take it. <sighs> All right. What a lovely view. That's so lame. <laughs> right, let's see if this works. Not having a place to like mount my phone <laughs> is a little bit more frustrating than I thought it would be. I don't think this is going to work. Nay. That's obnoxious. Let's put our sweater up here and see if this works. I'm use this as a little. Yikes! Will that work? Is that. Hey! All right, turn the truck off. We don't need to be wasting our gas that we have to fill up later. All right, um, yes, I do want to open up that box of tea. But first, let's see what some of this other stuff was because I don't know. Hang on. I'll get to that in a minute. Two of these are things I ordered for myself. One. We don't need to speak of, that's that one. Tens pads. So what's this? Curiouser and curiouser. What is this? Gloves. I'm gonna guess, I mean, I'm taking a guess who this is from. Oh, it's from Francis. I've seen you've been tearing your thumbs up. Anyway, I got you these work gloves to protect your hands. Also remember to wear your protection glasses when you're using your saw. I, you can't make me. <laughs> but these gloves are cool, look at this. Ooh, they orange. Are they gonna fit my hands though? That's always the question. They're hand landy gloves. Never heard of that. Those protect my digits? Hey, those feel pretty darn good. Not too bad, I'm always worried that they're gonna be too small and whatnot, but there we bloody go. And add that to our arsenal. Now we're invincible and we can do anything we want. Thank you very much, Francis. <laughs> giving you a hard time about the glasses. What is, okay, this I ordered for myself as well. So I'm excited to get this installed. Hang on, it's gonna be noisy. Bada bing, bada boom. Hard to see what that is. That is a Y joint for the diesel heater. Again, we'll get there. Right, we're gonna wrap all this up, put this in here. All right, so what's that? Yuck are these? Well, this one is, there we go. I don't, oh yes, wait a second, I was gonna say I don't have a knife. It's me, of course I have a knife. Full, there's not as much room in this ram as I thought. Can I open up my Leatherman with these gloves? Yes, I can. Okay, what is this long phallic shaped box for? What are you housing and who are you from? From D Bright, I am happy to contribute to Lucky's new build. Looking forward to more videos of your travels with Brooklyn and Miss Penny. Best wishes to your family from D Bright. Thank you very much, D. That's a very nice note. What in the absolute? More stuff for the build. Thank you so much, D. It's a folding bracket. Again, we'll get there. Very excited to get back there and, and start banging stuff out. I feel like I'm really close to wrapping everything up and I am getting a little antsy to get back into Lucky, I'm not gonna lie. Especially now that she's gonna be all, well, new. And we got this other one. Is this, now, my guess here is this is the one that I was, oh, don't drop it. This is why we can't have nice things 
This might be the one I was aware of from Bill. Let's find out. Another thing for the build. Wow, the Leatherman's just not digging into this. Yes, it is. Bill, thank you so much, sir. So very kind of you. Bill sent us a 50 amp DC to DC charger that is also a solar charge controller from Renogy. That is awesome. And we're gonna be getting to the electrical system very, very soon. Bill, that is incredible, sir. You have been a huge supporter of this build as have so many of you. I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Where are we gonna put all this stuff? And I got one more package here. This is a personalized package from Sharon Horton. Sharon sent me a bunch of stuff that I can see there's a bunch of stuff on the, the declaration. I'm not gonna read it in here. Oh, this is good. I haven't had any breakfast today. There we go. Those aren't for me. Thank you, Sharon, so very much for that. There are treats in here for Penelope. Amazing. What's this? There's a little pink sassy, sassy, sassy sash. Wow, I can't speak. Oh, another little paint set for Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, it's a cute little paint set with a little bag. This is so cool. We, maybe we can latch this onto her wolf pack. Oh, that'd be cool. Little paint set. Oh, with stickers. Did you get these at Walmart? No, maybe not. I mean, at first glance, those totally look like the Walmart faces, but then on the other side, we've got actually weird, funny faces, which is super cool. This is my face right there when I found out that Grace was gonna take longer than two hours today. Right there, that one. That one, oh, oh. thank you so much, Sharon. Peanut M&Ms, even better. I was this close to ordering some peanut M&Ms at the theater last night, I did not. I waited too long, but the universe clearly said, sir? You must have some peanut M&Ms in your life. And here they are, they arise. I can't, these gloves are making this a tad bit more difficult. It's almost like they weren't meant for package opening. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. Oh, Riverside, California from Sharon H. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate that. Look at that, it's a little Easter kitty cat card. That's so cute. Thank you, Sharon. I just traded in all of my American money, but now I've got another. We'll go, we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it over here and not at the Kootenai Savings, because damn. But thank you very much, Sharon. Let me put that aside. All right, I need to see what's in that box of tea. Can I turn the phone off with these gloves? I say nay. I say, I say nay. Okay, well, let's see. How Revita spoiled me. This is crazy. Oh, that is not soft open. Everybody just calm down. This giant box of tea. Oh my goodness. Carly. You're probably not watching, but holy Dinah. Here we go. Do it carefully. Don't puncture the pouches. What do we got in here? Ha, I knew this was coming. I hit their threshold. <laughs> that is so funny. Hang on. We got to obviously... <clears throat> Well, this will look. I got you get this for like spending a hundred dollars or whatever. They throw in a bucket hat. So there we go. Is that really the weather for a bucket hat right now? I don't think it really goes with the flannel, but I don't give a tiny rat's hoot nanny. All right, what else we got in here? Look at that stuff. What? <laughs> bucket hat, two mixed cases, and two. Oh, I was wrong on the flavor, and I just spoiled it for myself. I guessed watermelon, but it is not. Prosperity. Hey, so this is just a flavor that's still in production. They're obviously working on the packaging. Look at this. Prosperity. Pear, apple, green tea. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited to try that. I ordered two, and these, these guys are amazing. If you don't know, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, we might do something like that in the future. Carly and I had a brief conversation on Instagram about possibly doing something like that. But as of right now, I'm just a big fan of these guys. They are a company that is local here in Calgary. Hopefully, I can actually get over to their plant or factory or whatever at some point in a future vlog. Future Matthew problem. But yeah, they're a great alternative to energy drinks. And I've been drinking them for well over a month now. Um, and they're delicious. They just brought back their mango flavor, which is what I ordered. Um, did they send me... Oh, mixed cases. So they sent me two samples of the pair and they sent me two mixed cases of their actual other tea, which is awesome. So if you guys want this, if you want to try it out, they do deliver to the United States as well. I've had a couple of subscribers reach out and say they had success with that and they've tried it and they really enjoyed it. I always link them in the description of all of my videos. Like I said, I really enjoy supporting local and these guys are awesome. So I'm going to, you know what? Hang on, let's do this. My coffee is wearing off. Oh. No, I don't want to just like it because it's new. Hang on.
that's great. I really do like that. That's up there with the, it's gotta be the green tea. So most of their flavors are made with black tea. They've got blackberry, uh, elderberry, strawberry, black cherry, and peach. I think I got them all. And those are all black tea based. Whereas the mango and now this one are green tea based. And I think I'm just a green tea guy. Their black tea ones are still delicious, but. Oh, that's such a nice flavor. It's not overwhelming. Pear apple. I'm very excited for this to hit the shelves. I'll be ordering a couple cases of that as well. So to everybody at Revita, thank you so much, you guys. This is, uh, you did real good. Delicious. You now I got all the energy in the world. Nothing can stop me now. Speaking of supporting local. Let's go shopping. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you always. again. How's everybody else? Oh, just uh, just hanged. You know, was making uh, some displays for the new busy. store. I liked your guys' little Street Fighter Mortal Kombat yeah, that clip. Was fun. That was personal. <laughs> that was that was personal. <laughs> Had a little aggression to take out, or what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at this place. Yeah, it's a little it's a little busy. Good to be busy. Yep. Half of our stuff isn't even here. Half of it's not even here. Introduce yourself. Oh, Conrad, uh, Craze Outdoors. It's my good friend Matthew and uh, my brother <laughs> and uh, Al over here. And, right. Uh, yeah. Social media whiz. Yeah. The guy who's actually in charge, the guy in the chair. Yeah, yeah. Just sure. The boss. Yeah. The boss, man, <laughs> labor. Right. Brother, all that good stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> Conrad just hopped in the Ram with me and we're at a secret location. <laughs> this is where they store the eco flows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not sketchy at all there. No, not at all. We're in a warehouse in a big area. <laughs> right? Ah, stuff getting done. Look at all this stuff. That's where to keep all the goodies. Ooh, sucker. <laughs> and let's get this uh, measured and open it. Right? Let's see. Very curious. I had my eye on this fridge for a very long time. A lot of people that have been around the channel for a while know why and what happened last year. So, and I've been making the build in Lucky around these dimensions, but I still want to see exactly how how big it is conrad brought his tape measure i don't have mine it's back in bc i choose to do things a different i was gonna way. say you sir need yourself a leatherman i certainly do i've been down there so, so you'll do this for everybody who wants to buy one. Oh, 100 right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. you open it up and everything look at that and then, look can anybody guess why i'm really excited for this freaking thing oh <laughs> okay how nope. heavy is it not super heavy well that's good yeah, that he hasn't had back surgery though. Some people are lucky that way. Oh, man. Like it's definitely a lot smaller than the fridge I have, but I mean, what you get, the dual zone, heck yes. Okay, so let's see real quick. With this bad boy, I'm gonna steal your tape measure. No, I'm doing shit with one hand again. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh, but these little stupid things stick out a bit. Are these, do we know if these are removable? I guess if I don't need them, I can always just take a yeah, yeah. Dremel to it. And just pop it off. <laughs> yeah, because this side doesn't have it, because this is the vented side. Yeah. And that's your power. Oh, that's the power? The so this oh, for solar. Yeah, it'll be your solar. And okay, then... but the actual like AC power is on the back, right? Yep. In this panel. So that'll be for your That's battery. the battery. Oh shit, I thought the plugs were on so the back. Uh, so you'll have your like connection. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So yeah, that's going to be your um, your XT60 in there. Okay. Where's the max Ooh. AC? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, and then you have your like uh, your, your drain and all of that fun stuff. Okay. Nice drain here. Boop. All right. Cool. Well, time to talk shop. We'll catch up in a minute.
I'm so excited. I will make it work no matter what, although I have zero reservations that it won't fit in the space that I wanted it to go in. My only like one hesitation was that looking on two different websites that listed this refrigerator, their measurements were different with the handles off of the unit. So that's why I wanted to see it in person, physically measure it myself and see what I'm dealing with. Um, I'm very happy to report, oh shoot, I didn't do one other measurement. Well, we're gonna make it work. We got the fridge now. Huge thank you to everybody down here at Craze Outdoors, especially Conrad, he was super kind and he lifted this into the truck for me because my back and all of that stuff. I'm still gonna have to wrestle it into grace somehow. I'm excited to use it. One last time, you know what? We'll talk about it one last time, that whole like situation with EcoFlow and this fridge and everything, when we get to actually opening it up and putting it in Lucky, which I'm very excited to do. Um, but I'm even, even happier just to have it here. Very cool looking little fridge. So, and I'm hoping that it sort of keeps me again with the idea of it being smaller. I won't have as much like junk in the fridge to go bad. Spots for my revitities and then popsicles for the little pirate princess and make an ice for the adult beverages. Craze Outdoors, locally owned and operated. Really cool announcement coming soon. Uh, I'll be able to talk about that in, in about a week or so. So make sure you're subscribed here on my channel, you're following me on Instagram, you're following Craze on Instagram. Big, big stuff coming. If you wanna hop online and place an order, they got all sorts of gear in here for camping and overlanding and van life and all sort of nomadic stuff. Whether you are doing it full time or you're just a weekend warrior, highly recommend checking out their website. If you're, it's your first order, Use the code VANLIFEPLUS at checkout. You're going to get yourself 10% off that order. Doesn't apply to sales items, but you're already going to be getting a great deal if you're getting something that's on sale. So it is just a family-operated business. These guys have been so nice to me. I've heard nothing but good things from other people that have come down here and met them and purchased things. If this is stuff that you're looking for, they get my full stamp of approval for whatever that might mean. They, they, mm. Yup. Okay, and this setup, it's not the worst. It works, obviously. I was lucky I had a power brick on me. So we got our brick set up in the RAM, and then we can actually turn our phone this way, and this little slot down here allows the cord to uh, hold the phone, and it doesn't unplug it, so that's great. There's that stupid view again. My goodness. Anyway, it is now 10 to 2 in the afternoon. I haven't heard from, from Tower yet. At this point, I think my running around is mostly done. I'm just going to double check the Rolodex in my brain. Uh, I think so. And now the question just remains how I'm going to do this truffle shuffle. In my mind, it's going to be receive the call from Chrysler, go there with the Ram, put everything in grace, and then take the Ram to Enterprise and hopefully have Chrysler's courtesy car pick me up. If not, we'll Uber back. I'm sure they will. Why wouldn't they? It just depends on how late it is. It's just, I'm just going to stress out now for the remainder of the day thinking, oh God, oh God, I've got a truck full of this stuff and I have to have this truck back at a certain time. I should probably just go find a place to park and edit. I was just driving by Tower and I can actually see Grace in the parking lot. She's in a different spot than she was in when uh, I left in that courtesy shuttle this morning. I haven't gotten a phone call yet, so who knows? I also lost my service guy's card that he gave me this morning because of course I have. Wait, is that it? Oh no, it's stickers from Craze Outdoors. Yeah, there's Grace. She's right there. I, I don't know if she's done or not. Ooh, that red one beside her is very pretty. I'm going to have to, well, screw it, I'm here now. We'll just go in and see if Russell is available. See what he has to say about the Irish Pirate Queen. I hope she's just done and I can get this all shuffle over with. Roll window up. I do like that. Auto up as well as down. Grace only has auto down. Die just went to do. Anyway. Hey, you're right at home, Ram. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Make good choices. How's it going, man? Not too bad. I didn't get a call yet, but I saw that the Jeep is in a different spot than it was this morning. Just wondering if it's done. I gotta do a whole like shuffle of shit. I got a rental and stuff. Um, it's done. We're just running a little bit of time on the recalls. Um, okay. If you want, you can just take it. 
I don't need to take your, what do you mean, what do you mean by running time? It's basically like we won't have the paperwork ready yet. Yeah. That's fine. So what I can do yeah. is I've got... Want to do your swap right now? Yeah, I've got another set of keys. Maybe oh, just keep it all straight for okay. you. Yep. Then I'll come back in after. You got it, bro. Cool. Thanks, Thank Russell. You. Not too bad. Okay, so I just got to print the paperwork. So we are going to take the very fancy white whip over to the Irish Pirate Queen, unload all of our shit. <laughs> and then we will come back in, talk to the, 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 the shuttle guys, the courtesy guys. Maybe they can... Come with me down to Enterprise. We can get you back from whence you came. What a day, what a day. Does it have? I didn't lock it. We'll never know. Here we go. Oh, can this ram do this? Turning radius, turning radius, turning radius. Nay, we will smash the bejeebus out of that Cherokee. No, I mean, it would deserve it. It's not a real Jeep. <laughs> Here we go. No, there goes the courtesy shuttle. Where are you going? I need you. Come back here, you. Hopefully this is nice and simple. I don't. <laughs> Damn it. I planned this very poorly. All right. Do it like this. <laughs> Transfer, straight transfer, straight transfer. Where's Conrad when you need him? Hey! That's lighter than my other friend. She's snug, but she's in. Good job, Jeep Wangler. Yeah, the tea's heavier than a fridge. Oh, it's a tight squeeze. Come here, you. <sighs> okay. You go back. In your pockets. Let's see, let's see. Is that close? Oh, she's snug as a bug in the rug. Okay. And for just a little while longer, Grace, stay. Be right back. All right. to Enterprise or the other location that's just where I'm going then we will get back to Grace $21 to fill up what I used today so that's a grand total of $86 for the running around that I did in this truck I think that was worth it for the amount of money it would have cost me for an uber all over the place plus I got to hang out with Conrad and go for a rip and uh, secrets so that was cool all right onward to glory the Irish Pirate Queen. Let's get the heck out of here. So yeah, they don't have the paperwork ready for me, but that doesn't stop them from giving me the vehicle. They're going to email me a copy of it, but I did ask him specifically. They replaced a gear position sensor and they completely replaced the entire clutch. So I guess people have been burning them out early. There was an issue there or something. So Grace has a brand new clutch. Can't complain about that. You can wash it all you want, bro. It's still a Cherokee. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? Let's get the heck out of... Well, I mean, it's nice of them, but I'm not that dirty. Huh. All right, let's fire her up. Let's see how she feels. I had my tire off. I got my little key out. Which means somebody was rummaging around in my shit. Well, 
Sounds like Grace. Does it? Does it sound like Grace? What did they do to you? Did they violate you? They gave you a number. Anyways, that is the day. So, I am going to leave this one here. Thank you so much for coming along on that with me and hanging out. I'm glad we got done what we got done. It's kind of nice being able to just adult and do things like go get a rental car and get things done when you need to get things done. I don't know why I'm not more used to that than I am. Maybe because I spent so many years of my life not adulting. Anyway, until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves, most importantly, be positive. Remember, only dead fish go with the flow, and we will see y'all back in British Columbia.